What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. Kick back, enjoying my Saturday. I am doing what I love to do, and that is my legal work. I am swamped with reading and writing. I am currently researching the defendant's brief in support of the settlement, and this is going to be page 10. I brought it up on the docket because I want to talk to y'all about that. This is going to be a very important video, people. A lot of people don't understand what you own. I'll start the video off like this with a question, okay? If you had a choice of an Apple share or an Apple preferred share, which would you take? I'll give you a clue. The answer is in the title of the shares. Okay, You have a chance that you can get some Microsoft shares or you can get some Microsoft preferred shares. Preferred shares. Which do you prefer? Answer. You always prefer the preferred share. Why? Because there's a lot of benefits tied to a preferred share that a common share don't have. Okay? Now, let's go to AMC. There's a lot of things attached to our preferred shares that are not attached to a common share. Okay? And when we're making videos now about people being ape heavy and everything, and I ain't promoting anybody to buy or sell, but if you're ape heavy, that's good news. Sit back, relax. Everything's going to be okay. Okay? If you've been holding equal and equal the whole time, cool. Sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Because when you learn what a preferred share is, then you can sit back and go, oh, I got some shit here. And we don't even realize it. So before we go any further, let me turn to page 10 of the defendant's brief in support of the settlement. And where Adam Aaron is describing exactly what an ape share is, okay? AMC provides provided extensive disclosure on the key features of apes on the day their creation was announced. Stop. That says a lot right there, all right? Who, whoever wrote that sentence did a good job because they communicated a whole lot to the judge that if there's any misunderstanding on the creation of ape, it's on us, okay? Because they gave extensive disclosure on the key features of the ape when it was created. So it's not their fault if me and you misunderstand. And I'm laughing I'm, after reading this. I'm going, really? <laughs> There's a whole lot of misunderstanding you gave us. But let's take a look at what an ape is. Each ape, AMC ape, is a top depository share and represents an interest in one one hundredth of a share of preferred stock. All right. Now, I've been getting deep into these preferred shares, so I've learned what it means when they say it's a depository share. That means it's not going to leave computer share. That preferred share is there at computer share not in our accounts. Now, once the preferred shares get to computer share, then they send out a hundred little ape soldiers into the market, and we buy them. Okay? That's what that means. When they say each ape is a depository share, that means it never leaves computer share. All right, and represents an interest in one one hundredth of a share of preferred stock. Now they've sent out a hundred little ape army shares. That's how they can say they have fifty million preferred shares, but they got five billion apes that they can sell. Why? Because each depository share of the ape is one hundred little bitty ape soldiers that can go out into the market, and if over here in the depository, it can send out five billion little bitty ape armies. That's what that means, people. 
all right so you don't have one share equals one AMC you got one share equal of AMC equals one depository share which equals 100 shares of ape that's how that works if you want to look at it in a diagram it looks like this you got one AMC you got one AMC preferred depository share that's put there in computer share and they send out 100 little bitty apes into the market okay we on there so let's go back to our legal work over here each AMC is designed to have the same economic and voting rights as a share of common stock stop that's not true now in my studies of preferred shares and if you would just go on YouTube and instead of watching one of these knucklehead youtubers you can go watch you a convertible preferred share video and learn some of this yourself <laughs> without one of us telling you you can go learn from a real financial advisor what a convertible preferred share is all right they do not share the same economic value people he is wrong there ape and AMC can never arbitrage like this and travel together that's not how preferred shares work and if you do a little research on preferred shares you'll figure that out a preferred share always starts below the average of the common stock why because it takes seed money to create the preferred share all right and the company is supposed to provide that seed money and when they provide the seed money they make those preferred shares that are in the depository and then they can send out the little bitty apes okay follow me now the company is supposed to take some money and put in the depository is seed money to create the preferred share but instead of AMC creating the ape share they took 40 percent of our money and created the ape share it's not a conspiracy on the level of the price that's how preferred shares always work no matter where you go the company has to put a seed money in that creates the preferred share and it's but here in AMC where Adam Aaron fucked up is he took the seed money from us okay to create it probably because AMC didn't have the money <laughs> And I could give you another dozen reasons, and I'll do a video probably on it, on why preferred shares never have the same economic value as a common share. Okay? But they don't. They don't. They take seed money, and when, the seed, when they did that, the price of AMC fell, and the price of APE was created. Seed money. They needed that 40%. <laughs> All right, so they don't have same economic value. Now they'll go up and down in price, and they might meet somewhere on the scale, but they're not trying to arbitrage and meet together because that's not how they work. Both of them have a different supply and demand, and we'll talk about that in other videos. But that's why they can't be traveling together. They both have different supply and demands. It's common sense. He fucked up right there, and the voting rights as a share of common stock okay stop he's half right there okay because a convertible preferred share gets to vote and if I had to ask you why do you think a preferred share a convertible preferred share could vote you would probably answer so it can be converted into the common stock and you'd be right because a, con a convertible preferred share gets a say-so whether they want to give up their benefits or not. Okay, because each preferred share has its own benefits. And I may not want to let loose of my benefits. So I get to vote on the conversion. And AMC gets to vote on the conversion because it affects their stock. We will have to take the ape and put it back here increase the float. So AMC gets to vote, all right? And APE gets to vote because they get to vote rather they want to give up their rights as a preferred share 
and become a common share or not. But they do not get to vote in corporate elections that dictate what direction the company goes, such as a reverse stock split. They don't get to vote. Apes don't vote on that. Apes have a particular, are supposed to have a particular rights attributed to them, and because of those rights, they give up their voting rights. If those lawyers were worth anything, they would know all this. Okay? Now, that's what all of my research on preferred shares have taught me, and I'm learning from CPAs, people, not YouTubers. But each ape is automatically convertible into one share of common stock. Uh, really? How is it automatically convertible? We have to vote on it. <laughs> Each ape votes together with the common stock. I just told you that. In the conversion vote, yes. On corporate issues, no. Why? Because this affects the owners. And this affects people that are holding on for benefit. See? So they don't get to vote in corporate elections. An ape does not get to vote on who the next board member will be. Okay? In order to convert apes to common stock, now this is important, listen to this, the company may seek to obtain the requisite stockholder approval of an amendment to its certificate of incorporation to increase the number of authorized shares of common stock. Now, they got that from right here. The SEC Form 8A, all right? It tells you to, that you'll be able to it, vote to increase the number of authorized shares of a common stock to a number of at least sufficient to permit the full conversion of the then outstanding shares of preferred stock into common stock or to such higher number of authorized shares of common stock, okay? What that's saying is, when they put out the information, they said, we're going to sell these preferred stocks, and we're going to send out a hundred little army apes out there to sell for you to buy, all right? And at one day, those little bitty army apes will have to come back into AMC. With that, understand, the price is not going to arbitrage people. That's not how preferred shares work. They have their own supply and demand. So get the arbitrage shit out of your head. Can ape squeeze? Absolutely. When a conversion happens, ape will squeeze. I can pretty much guarantee it because Citigroup told them it would in the paperwork that I've showed y'all. So with that, I hope y'all enjoyed this. And if you want to get a better understanding again, watch it again and get a real good understanding of what you got. Now you might say, well, there's no rights to my apes. You're right. And we're going to cover that in a future video when I'm sharing with y'all what my proposed settlement will be is that he starts putting some rights to our preferred shares. And I'll cover that in another video. Love y'all. Be blessed. I'll see you then.